So let's make a small change to the home controller. Let's change the about method to say something like contact method this is to see if we can say the changes that we make so again you want to like save your changes application so home about is what we are calling in the URL have new text now based upon what we changed so when we use contact it says contact method is being called so it's as simple as that let's try and add one more method to this home controller I just want to create a new method it's called display just to show how you can add a new method to a controller and how you show it in the URL how you access it through URL so I cannot leave it as a return view here because it will, the router again, um, will be looking for a view that has the name display. Like for example, if you look here under the views, under home, you can see there is an about, contact and index. These three are views. We do not have a view corresponding to display. And uh, for the sake of today's video, we are not going to be creating any new views. So I'm going to simplify this and say I don't want to return a view I want to return a string and then I say return I can just say home slash display method okay. I just want it to display a basic text message that says the display method is being called so let's save this change build Let's invoke the application, start the application. Okay, I want to call home display. Takes a little bit to start. So it says display method is being called. Um, so this is not the same display as the other ones like uh, contact etc because they are actually using a specific view to show the results whereas display method that we added is more like a hack we just want to quickly see if any method we add any action method we add to the controller shows up you can try adding a few more methods and play around with it just to get a better understanding of how the URL translates to controller and also methods inside the controller couple important uh, details to remember so like I said the name is very important so if you want to in you know if you have a URL that says slash home routing is going to expect home controller that's the file it's going to expect and then underneath that it's going to expect these are the methods that can be invoked if we you know call something else instead of display we say browse
there is no such action method inside our controller so we get an error page okay so according to our book we are going to be adding one more controller at this point let's add one more controller so let's call it a store controller add controller let's choose MV mvc5 controller empty store This came in with a default index page. So if we were to access this, we would be saying our localhost slash store, and then that should bring about this page. And uh, remember that we do not have any views associated with this one. Again, if you look under views, there is no folder for store. So we actually have to create a view and we are not going to do that now. So all we are going to do is we are going to use the same hack as before. We are going to make this return a string. Okay. So that's what we are going to do now for the store controller. We are actually going to be returning two other methods called browse and details. So let's just make a copy. Store dot browse store dot browse method is being called store dot details method is being called here. So let's save our changes, build our application. And start our application. So we want store now. So that says hello from store. So I say browse. So that's that's where um, the three methods are being called. So our home our home controller still exists in this project. So we can say home, okay, not browse. Home, and we would go back there. We can say home about. We can go back to store now. So that's how we add uh, controllers. So we've added two controllers. So these are our methods. So that is how we access slash store gets us to the index. Action method under store. So if you do like a, so like slash store. Slash store gets us to this method slash store slash browse gets us to this method store details gets us to this method so that's how the url connects to a controller this is in your book so it should be easy for you to kind of go over it's in page i think 44 you can take a look at that